All right, all right. I want to go over some basic, real basic blend shape animation. And we're going to animate this dolphin using a blend shape. What I'd like to do is show you the wire tool. If I go to front view, we have this dolphin. And I want to be able to animate him so I can go to create CV curve tool. I'm going to put a wire, or in this case a curve, all the way through him. Now, I then want to go to create deformers wire tool. I want to click on the dolphin, click on the curve, and I'll hit 4. Now, you can see that when I move up the curve, the dolphin moves too. What I want to do is to show you how to adjust this output. See where it says drop off distance? Click on it with the left mouse button and the middle mouse button pulled up so it's higher. And what that allows you to do is adjust the total drop off of this dolphin here so you can adjust it the way you think is right. So it's using a wire tool, pretty nifty tool to animate this guy. Let's just say you have a few shapes and a blend shape is where we combine shapes together using a slider. So I'm going to remove him and then reveal the ones I had here. So I have a bunch of dolphin shapes I have now made. Here we have dolphin left and right and down and up. So with a blend shape, we do base shape last. So I'm going to click here, hold down shift click and then go to create deformers blend shape. What this gives you, I can now hide these by the way, or delete them either way. Center on this with F as in Frank key. We have a blend shape. Now this is useful to animate this guy and then we could even put him on a path. So this is a way to, in essence, layer animation. And one thing you'll notice is that with this blend shape, I can combine different shapes like here his tail is down and he's going left and I can then have him oops <laughs> let me go over uh, go in the other direction with his tails up so that's some flexibility with blend shapes and we can also animate these so let me go and put some animation on here if I go into window animation editors expression editor and let me go by object expression name under select filter and blend shape one. So let me take this P cube eight. I'm going to left mouse button grab it and go into here. And I'm going to say I want this to be sine of the frame divided by 10. And the lower the number, the faster it goes. Now, here's the trick sine goes from negative one to one. And what we are looking for is to go from zero to one, which is the shape the length of a blend shape. Blend shape goes 0 to 1. We This goes negative 1 to 1, so I want to divide this by 2 and add 0.5 to it. So that makes it negative 0.5 to 0.5, and then I add 1, so that goes negative or 0 to 1. So if I play this, this uh, guy is moving left and right. Then if I grab, copy this for 7, I'll just copy and paste, make that a 7 right here. Uh, let me don't get off of here. Seven, and I'll make this thing cosine. And now we can play this. There he's going back and forth. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, enough of that. Let me copy this uh, and make this uh, six and five. Now be for the tail. And then we'll play this. So you can see that we are animating the dolphin. And his tail goes up and down. Say you want his tail to go faster. We can make this maybe a 4 and a 4. So his tail will flip faster. So it's basic character animation. And then the benefit of this is that we can then put this guy on a path.